lead out to war, if we choose to throw away our peace with the Athenians, we are exposed to threats from across the Aegean, and our people will suffer. If the Corinthians want war, they should seek it alone. You would see all of Greece under the heel of Athenae, cowering from them like chided slaves. We spilled blood at Potidaea, but now we need allies. The might of Sparta will halt their ambition. Your flattery is wasted. You know not what you ask. All eyes look on Sparta, and this is what you would have them see. From birth, a Spartan is trained for one purpose. To do battle. You are Pandora, clutching on a vessel you do not understand. They dare think themselves your equal. None can match your skill. It is every Spartan's duty to embody the very nature of war. Strike now, I beg you. You would plunge Greece into chaos. Then from chaos, we will rise. Forty years have passed since our great victories over the Persians. It should have been the start of our golden age, but instead we squabble amongst ourselves. The Hellenic League, formed to take the fight to the invaders, did not last. Suspicious of the ambitions of Athena, Sparta and many other great city-states left. They were right to be suspicious. Athena has turned the League they formed into an empire under their control. It is now less a collection of independent cities and more a series of bases for their powerful navy. In the face of Athenian hegemony, Sparta has reformed the Peloponnesian League with Corinthus and the smaller Boeotian League of Cities. As these two powerful groups face off against each other, war is brewing. Let us not forget the Persians. Their empire still stands and keeps a careful eye on developments in Greece to make sure that no single group becomes too powerful. Sparta has every right to mistrust the Athenians. Barely ten years prior, Athena fought a war against their ally, Corinthus. Athenian arrogance has now become too great for the Spartans to bear. However, Athena's greatest strength is also their biggest, most exploitable weakness. Athena's wooden wall, the fleet that guarantees their dominance at sea, is no match for the elite hoplites of Sparta. Sparta's aim is to cripple Athena on land to prevent its navy becoming too large. Since the mines at Lavrio provide much of the city's income and therefore its shipbuilding capabilities, their loss would be devastating. Once Lavrio has been captured, Athena itself should be the next target. It is the key to dominance over all Greeks.